Good morning and welcome back to Moving with Grace Yoga. Before we start, I just thought I'd just tell you what's on my mind. I meant when I started this channel to, of course, post regularly and invent new and wonderful sequences. And sadly, in this era of COVID-19, I found that sometimes I'm just stuck. We have so much time, and yet we feel this sense of shock, of overwhelm. And let's face it, at times, incredible sadness. And so it's with this heavy heart that I kept putting things off this week. And so I thought, I'm only human, don't give up. There is hope. And so because of that, it's Easter Sunday. And I've dressed up in all my pretty colors in this era of COVID-19 to cheer you up and to move on, invite you to move on your mats with me and to do it for hope. Because we always have each other and as long as we always have each other, there is always hope. And so with this, we begin, find a tall, comfortable seat, wherever that may be, in your house, outside, just doesn't matter. Left hand onto your heart, right hand on your belly. And simply, if you're comfortable with it, close your eyes. If not, simply soften your gaze. And begin to arrive into your space. Maybe begin to pause. Maybe begin to let go of what does not serve you. And very simply deepen your breath. And with your breath, begin to open your heart and make space. In order to have hope, we need these two. more breaths on your own, your breath, your thoughts, your hope. And as you begin to flutter, the eyes open, bring the hands Calm down if you want a more grounding influence that this week's been hard. Or if you're really hopeful that there's lots of energy out there and you just want to receive it virtually through our iPads, our phones, wherever you are, then place the palms up. And I think I need your energy today, so that's where I am. And we begin this with a look around. So inhale, look up. Exhale, chin to chest. And then from here, just bring the shoulders back down. Feel the stretch in the back of the neck. And begin to make half circles. Inhale, and as you do so, look towards the left. Exhale, chin towards the chest, head travels towards the right. Exhale, 
exhale again, chin to chest, head travels towards the left. And one more time, inhale as you travel down. Rise up, and then simply bring your head back to neutral, and pause. This is look around move to see that we are not alone. Hands come to the side, just fingertips slightly touching. Your arms aren't so far away that you have to hold them. The elbows are bent gently. The left thumb rises up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Make the left side really long. Exhale, side bend and look up. Look at the sun or the stars or the moon. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, left hand down. Turn your head, look at the right, right thumb up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, and side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Again, left thumb rising, look. Reach, make space. Exhale and side bend, keep supporting and lifting up, no crunching down, breathe, inhale up and exhale down, right thumb lifts, look, making space here, exhale, side bend, look up and down, exhale, good. And once again, a brief pause. Feel how your body's already changing when we try to look for what, what is good. And so, as I said before, we need an open heart to get uh, hope to fill our hearts. So bring the hands just behind side pockets. The elbows are at your sides. Inhale, the elbows tether towards one another, the sit bones ground down, lift, exhale and round. Inhale, push the sit bones into the earth, your heart shines forward, you look skyward and you breathe. Exhale. And again. Inhale and look up, reach up, breathe, and exhale, curl in. Once again, hands to your thighs, pause ever so briefly. And then both hands reach up in this shout of joy. Feel the breath coming in and out. Deep inhale, biggest breath you've taken all day. And as you exhale, reach forward to touch someone. Right through the screens, feel as if we're touching. As you're leaning forward, make sure those sit bones are remaining anchored down into the and then I'm looking at you, but I'm gonna ask you to tuck the chin, make length in the back of the neck, reach forward, and then again, rise up, shout for joy. Two more. Exhale and reach forward, right through the screen, come touch my fingers, and when you can feel them energetically, then tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the head, Breathe, and then rise up, pause, feel the sun on your face, and one more time, reach forward, touch someone, lengthen the back of the leg, and then return, palms up, open onto your thighs. 
both hands drop, hand, palms are facing upwards, inhale, look up, reach up, exhale the hands to heart center, bow your head. Deep gratitude for this world and each other. Once again, the hands to the side, inhale, look up, reach up, exhale, down, bow your heart your head to heart center and then out to the side inhale look up reach up exhale hands to heart center and simply pause however you want to do this coming onto tabletop so move Today is not about getting it right, it's just about moving on your mat. And so, hands, wrist, elbows, shoulders in line, knees and hips in line. Just move side to side here for a quick moment. Try to see what feels good. And then come back to tabletop. The the front body is meeting the back body. No sagging here. You are supporting your lower back. Inhale, and as you exhale, push into the hands, arms are long, hips traveling towards the heels. Prayer stretch. If it feels a little bit more comfortable, you can widen the hands here, and your head is coming down towards the mat, maybe your forehead touches, maybe it doesn't, just doesn't matter. Inhale and rise up. Once again, exhale, push the hips towards the heels as far, it doesn't matter if you stop here and simply breathe into the length of your torso, wherever you reach, that is good for today. Inhale, up, and one last time, prayer stretch, pushing back, hips to heels, heart towards the earth, third eye or forehead facing down, bowing in gratitude rising up, realigning here. If you've made the hands wide, bring everything back in line. Begin to move into your cat cows. Inhaling, you know, shoulder blades onto your back, look forward. Even though the belly button's coming down, you are still engaging and supporting the lower back. Exhale, push into the hands, round your spine, and see if rather than movement, the rising up being only here, see if you can bring some rounding, some stretching and lengthening into the lower spine. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Inhale and reach up. Exhale. Good. And now let the left hand travel down in front of your face. Begin to anchor down, push down, so that you can lift and the right hand can come up. Engage the lower body, belly button to spine. Inhale, open twist. Exhale, down, switch, right hand to the left. Inhale, reach up with the left. Exhale, two more, rising up. Inhale, exhale. Rising up with the left. Make this feel good. This is not about what you look like. It's simply about moving and opening your heart and making space. Right hand lifts. Inhale. Exhale. Right hand in the middle. Left. Reaches in. 
and then ever so carefully let everything curl in for just one moment of pause and stillness in child's pose. Remember this pose is always available to you. If you've had enough of moving and you just need to rest, breathe into your back body. Let go of what does not serve you. And then rising up ever so carefully, reawakening into a new space that you've just created on your mat. Bring the hands forward, back to tabletop, ever so briefly, tuck the toes under, inhale, a downward facing dog. First downward dog of the day, make it smooth, make it feel good, you can sway side to side, anything you need. And because we don't care what we're doing so much, it's just about moving. Make this feel good as you walk forward to the front. So you can even get creative and have your left foot come in front and then crisscross all the way up, walking your feet to your hands, ending up in a forward fold, knees are bent. Anchor the four corners of your feet into the earth and unravel one vertebrae at a time. Hands to the side, inhale, look up, reach up, exhale, bend the knees, forward fold, make this feel good, fingertips towards the earth, they don't need to touch, and again, push into the four corners of your feet, unravel, breathe, inhale, look up, reach up, exhale, towards the earth. Make this feel good. Maybe pause right here. Push into the four corners, rise up. Ending in Tadasana, mountain pose. Once again, taking the opportunity to pause. Feel the energy changing in your body, the space opening inside your heart, and the love and the hope shining in. Inhale, look up, reach up, exhale, forward fold, hands coming to the tops of the shins this time. And then from here, inhale, look forward, chest forward, the spine is long, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to the ground, push with the hands, lift your left foot and long step back all the way, lowering the left knee onto the ground, untucking the toes and taking this time to squeeze the legs together, breathing here, pause in the middle in order to just find your stability, legs squeezing towards one another, Find the space, open your heart. Anjani Asana, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down to the center, to the floor, tuck the toes, lift the back knee, push into the hands, right leg steps back, downward facing dog. Chest pushing towards the thighs, Back of the neck long, breathe. Inhale, lift the left leg way up. Keep pushing the chest towards the thighs. Lift your left leg from the inner thigh. As you exhale, left knee towards your nose, keeping the downward dog shape. From here, Travel towards hinge forward to the top of a push-up. Breathe 
Be strong and step your left foot to your left hand, whatever it takes to do so. Full breath here. Find your stability one more time. Maybe bring the hands right here. Left, right leg, heel, pushing back. Feel as if somebody sat on your knee. Your leg would be strong. And then from here, right hand to the side, wide on your mat. Inhale, twist. Exhale, left hand back to the ground. Look forward and step forward, forward fold. Breathe into the space, unravel one vertebrae at a time. Hands to the side, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come to the thighs. Inhale, look forward, chest forward, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the ground, either side of your feet. Step back, long step with your right leg this time. Lowering the right knee to the ground. Untucking the right foot. Once again, squeezing the legs towards one another. Start finding your stability. Pushing the toes and the top of the foot down. This will help. And then inhaling, reach up, up to the sky. Breathe. Exhale, arms down on either side of that front foot. Tuck the toes under and step back, downward facing dog. Pause into stillness. Inhale, forward, top of a push-up. Exhale, slowly down. Untuck the toes. Reach up, back of the neck long. Baby cobra. Exhale, down. Tuck the toes under. Begin to push, you can come up to all fours and then up, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg way up, breathe. Keep pushing the chest towards the thigh. Bring your right knee towards your nose, into your chest. Keep pushing and then travel to a push up, hinging forward. Pause, be strong, and then step the right foot up. Keep your left knee strong here. The right hands come to the side. Find your foundation. If the right hip has come forward, push it back. Stay long through the torso. Find your foundation. Pause here. Left hand comes to the ground, right hand lifts, full breath, hand down, keep the breath moving, look down at your foot and see if you can step forward. Pause, forward fold. Push into the four corners of your feet. Rise up. Hands to the side. Full breath. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the tops of the shins. Inhale, look forward, chest forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Stepping left foot way back. This time the knee stays up. Be strong, squeeze the leg towards one another. Long lunge, bring the hands behind you. Open your heart, 
If this clasping does not work for you, hands into your pockets, open your heart. Inhale, look up, reach up, exhale, hands down. Bring the right leg behind you, downward facing dog. Pause. Inhale to the top of a push-up. You can come down on your knees, align the shoulders, elbows and wrists. Exhale, lower down. If you were on your knees, have your legs long, and then push into the hands, lift from the back of the head, low cobra. Exhale, back down. Tuck the toes under, lift to tabletop, straight up into downward facing dog. Pause. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Remembering everything we learned in the last trial. Hinge forward, step the left leg forward. Keep the right knee lifted. Squeeze the legs, pause. And then reach the right hand down a little bit off your mat. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, left hand back to the ground. Look forward, step forward, forward fold. Rise up. Pause, Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, look up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hands coming to the tops of the shins again. Inhale, look forward, chest forward, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, hands come to either side of the feet. Take an inhale as you exhale, right foot, long step behind you. Right knee stays lifted, find your foundations, be strong, lift up. Rise up. Different shape, continuing with the opening of the heart. Exhale, hands to either side, frame your front foot, push into the hands, step back into downward facing dog. Knees on the ground or not. Inhale, hinge forward to the top of a push-up. Shoulders and hips in line, stay strong. Inhale, as you exhale, lower down slowly and carefully. Chest to the floor or the ground, the earth. Untuck the back toes. Inhale and lift up. Exhale down, tuck the toes under, push gently up to tabletop and swiftly up to downward facing dog, pause for a moment, inhale the right leg up, exhale knee to nose, and from here travel forward, Bringing the right foot between your hands, left knee stays lifted. Find your foundation here. Reach back. Full breath. Let go of the hands. Bring the hand, right hand to your knee, left hand to the Side of your mat a little bit wider, open twist. Bring the right hand back. Look forward, hands frame your front foot. Step forward. And simply sway, find what feels good. 
let your head hang here. Full breath. Let go. And then when you're ready to rise up again, push into the four corners of your feet. Rise up, hands to the side, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. And then move your feet a little bit wider, toes towards the upper corners of your mat. And begin to squat down. We'll eventually come to the ground, but find a comfortable squat with the hands in prayer. So you could be just right here, or you could be even a little bit lower with the elbows on top, the thumbs to your chest. Anything that you can maintain for a couple of breaths, or you can even come a little bit further. You can use a bench underneath your sit bones. Breathe for a moment. And then find your way to the ground gently and carefully. Bring your legs long in front of you. Find your sit bones. So bend your knees and rock side to side, make sure you can kind of feel those sit bones and then from here, extend the legs long. Just from here, open your heart. Reach the hands behind, maybe try again. Shoulder blades back, don't let your shoulders rock forward. Shoulder blades onto your back and try to maintain your belly button to your spine, not to be like this. Belly button to spine, shoulder blades back, back of the neck long, reach through the top of the head. Palms touching, elbows tethering, growing longer and if it's within your space, then see if you can extend the knuckles down. The legs are active. Simply breathe here into the space that you have created. Let go of the knuckles. Inhale, look up, reach up once again. The symbol of hope, reaching up for the sun and for love. And then bowing into gratitude. Bring the hands forward. Remember to have the spine long, so reach with your chest to your heart. Rather than doing this, reach forward. Hands light to the earth, and however it feels good to you. There is no forcing, no bouncing, no hurting. Do what feels good here. Pause. Feel the length in the back of your spine and simply breathe into that space. And rising up one vertebrae at a time. Bring the hands to either side of your hips, bend the knees, feet on the floor. Make sure you have space behind you in order to lie down on your mat. Find the space, come down one vertebrae at a time once again, being careful, making it feel good. 
And then come into happy baby. Basically, you know what a happy baby looks like. They roll around on the ground, they grab the outside of their feet. And make this feel good. I encourage you, just get, there's nothing more hopeful than a happy baby. And you can just roll around here, maybe bring the feet in and out, play. It's about just being, knowing that everything will be okay. And then once you've moved, maybe you do want a little bit more stillness or not, just doesn't matter. Simply breathe into the space, rock, pause, whatever feels good. And then once you've done that, bring the feet back to the earth, keep the knees bent. Once you've reached here, prepare for Shavasana. Find a pause for rest. When we finally created the space into our bodies and our hearts and our minds. To inhale lots of love in. And exhale lots of love out. You can stay here for as long as you need. Don't shortchange yourself. This is the most important pose. This is why we do yoga, to finally be able to come to a place of rest, a place of peace, place of hope. So pause the video and simply rest until we meet again next time. From my heart to yours with deep gratitude. Namaste.